వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ పీజీ పాఠశాల ఐఎమ్ కె రాజన్ ఫ్రమ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ హిస్టరీ పాండిచ్చేరి యూనివర్సిటీ టుడే అవర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ టాక్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ ఇండియన్ కల్చర్ అండ్ ద పేపర్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ ఇండియన్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇండియన్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ద మోడ్యూల్ దట్ మోనోలిథిక్ టెంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ పల్లవాస్ దీస్ పల్లవాస్ హ్యాస్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంటెడ్ త్రీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టెంపుల్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ వన్ ఈస్ దట్ రాకెట్ కేవ్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ ఆ రాకెట్ కేవ్ టెంపుల్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ ద సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ మోనోలిథిక్ టెంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ పల్లవాస్ దట్ ఈస్ ద టెంపుల్ ఆ మోనోలిథిక్ టెంపుల్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ అండ్ ద థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ స్ట్రక్చరల్ టెంపుల్స్ ద త్రీ ఇన్నోవేషన్స్ హ్యావ్ మీన్ మేడ్ అండ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ దీస్ architecture we are having certain objectives that is to know about the introduction of monolithic temple architecture in tamil nadu and also to understand the techniques involved in the excavation of monolithic rathas to understand the evolutionary process involved in the monolithic temple and also to estimate the impact of pallava architecture in other parts of tamil nadu and uh, these pallavas uh, rule this part of the northern part of tamil nadu is one of the major innovation or one of the excellent architectural design is the monolithic temple in any contemporary world or in that uh, particular in indian context we hardly get except the one which we have experienced in udaipur uh, where uh, the uh, sandragupta had uh, made a temple out of uh, like a monolithic rathas but it is very incomplete one but in the case of pallavas after the introduction of rocket cave temples in tamil nadu and in and around kanjivaram and mahabalipuram and they entered into a new innovative technique Uh, that is called monolithic rathas so in the contemporary world and this is considered as one of the best innovation in as far as temple architecture is concerned when we go this uh, monolithic rathas and this uh, king mahendra varman introduced the rocket cave temples in uh, mahabalipuram at mahabalipuram then after that narasimha varman first also called mamalla and his successors took the transformation of large boulders and outcrops into monolithic temples popularly known as rathas so that's why he is got been called as mamalla there were 10 rathas the popularly is called pancharadas that is only 5 rathas but in real picture if you see in the mahalivaram we are having 10 rathas uh, dravadi ratha arjuna ratha dharmaraja ratha bhimarata nagla shakadevarava all these five rathas are in a single temple complex made out of a outcrops that was close by but besides these five we are having valayan kutti ratha and also northern padari ratha and southern padari ratha and besides these three we are also having uh one rada in front of sa magsasurya mardini cave temple so the pudari rada we are having two and uh, and valayan kutti rada one and this magsasurya mardini rada one one so total we are having 10 rathas so and the panchapandava rada what we popularly call it this is draupadi rada arjuna rada and dharmaraja rada and bhima rada and sagala naga saga deva rada so this f- first three rathas are in one line or north south axis and the remaining one is in front of the draupadi ratha that is sagala nagala saga deva ratha is in front of the draupadi ratha of the five rathas also known this panja pandava rathas the first four rathas have been carved out of a sections of single well backed rock extended in north south axis and the fifth one that is the nagla sagadeva ratha 
is a smaller rock adjacent to the uh, this Dharmapati Radha. Uh, these are the five uh, Rathas. And uh, when we are having, uh, as I told you earlier, that the all the three or uh, four Rathas, I can say Dharmapati Radha, Arjuna Radha, Bhima Radha and Dharma Raja Radha are in a line or north-south axis. You could see that uh, the first one is the Dharmapati Radha and the second one is Arjuna Ratha and the third one is a Bhima Ratha and the biggest or the tallest Vimana which is having and the last one is a Dharma Raja Ratha. In front we are having an absolute shaped uh, boulder and in that they have made it a Nagula Saka Deva Ratha. In between these uh, four Rathas and this last one fifth Ratha we are having small boulders are two boulders that has been converted into a lion and elephant. The technique that was involved in making these temp monolithic rathas is very very important. The removal of the unwanted rocks is started from the top by cutting and reducing the rock on all sides. In this process, Vimana emerged out first from the rock followed by the lower parts of the temple. While carving out the monoliths, the parts and positions of the parts of the temple like Shigara, Vimana, the pillars are factored and other members of the architectural features were roughly marked out and were finished finally with all architectural details and relief sculptures by a more careful sizzling. In the sense, there are uh, difference between the rocket caves and the monolithic radhas. The rock in the rocket caves, it was a cut inside the rock and uh, going from front to back. But whereas in the monolithic radhas, they come from top to bottom. So that way, the simplest monolithic vimana has six parts. In the generally, <coughs> the Northern Indian temples, we have three parts, that is three varga they call it. Here they call it a six vargas, what we call it is a, or you can say that from Adhisthana, Pada, Bitti, and Prastara, and Griva, and Sigara, and Stupi. In the sense, Adhisthana is the base, and above that you are having Pada or Bitti, that sometimes pillar will be there or sometimes wall will be there and you are having prastara that means above the roof and up to the griva that means the neck portion what we popularly call vimana that is also called prastara and after that you are having a griva and neck portion and above that neck you are having a sigara and part, normally it is not round in shape it is a octagonal in shape and after that on the top you are having a stupi or we call it as kalasa. So the simple six-sided sat anga is an akatala vimana and also known as alpa vimana. When you are having a six-sided uh, one vimana is there and also it is six-sided then it is called alpa vimana. For a dvitala vimana that means two uh, tala will be there a new element called hara that means a series of uh, kudas and salas and panjaras will be shown there that was inserted between the prastara and griva. So that way in a dvitala vimana, uh, we are having this additional part of hara. This hara or triara miniature signs surrounding the each thala, that means story, is the most characteristic feature of southern vimana. So there are three types of haras and also within that uh, the, uh, hara we are having uh, three types that kuta or karna kuta that means that we place on the, on the corner of the vimana is a square with a domical roof and single stupi. And shala between the kutas is oblong with a barrel vaulted roof that is called sala crowned by a row of soupies or it's like a small kalasa on the ridge on the top of the sala the vaulted roof we are having a small finale. 
so then other another one that panjara what we got is this apsidal which appear between the salas and kutas so in the hara you are having karana kutas and you are having a salas and you are having panjara if you look into this uh, dharma raja ratha and one of the tallest uh, vimana of the panja panja radas the five radas you could see that one in there are it is a thala is there given it is a three, uh, three thalas are there and uh, on the top of the pillar you are having a beam after that beam you are having a kapota the kapota is having a kudu motif you can see all around what is the introduction that had been begun at the end of the mahendra varman times at above that in the thala the first thala first story you are having a series of shrines you see that the all the karana of this ratha you are having karna kutas and in between you are having salas and also panjaras so that way this series of thing is called hara this calls in the dharmaraj ratha the tallest and the largest among all the vimanas in Mah- 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 mahabalipuram what popularly called mamallapuram it is a trithala vimana as i have shown it is a sandara type that means the two walls will be there is a gap between the two walls of the shantam shantoram one can move around this shantam shantoram that is that garbhagraha then uh, that type of when we are having a two walls giving a space for moving around the shantam shantoram then it is called sandara type if there is no space uh, for moving around the this uh, garbhagraha then it we call nirandara type all the three stories of vimana are functional and intended to contain shrine chambers unlike in the later period we are having only shrine at the bottom most level and there you are having a shrine chambers and each thalas this monolithic ratha stands on a double base consisting of a lower and incomplete upapita what we call sub base that base is called adhisthana and below this adhisthana sometimes stands on another small platform that is called upapita or sub base we call it and an upper partially completed adhisthana so in the case of dharmaraja ratha we are having partially completed adhisthana it also shows that when you are coming from top to bottom when you are not complete we are all the upper part that means the top portions of the temple have been completed in all respect the bottom most is sometime incomplete this incomplete part clearly shows that they cut from top to bottom it is a this dharmaraja ratha is a square up to the prasthara then of that up to third thala and the griva and sigara are octagonal in the sense from the roof of the temple up to the neck portion of the temple this is in square in shape and the above this the neck port part and the shigara part is octagonal in shape the ground floor has four corner and where appears and cardinal entrances each with two simha pada or lion based pillars that was introduced uh, by the narasimha varman times and that also found in this dharmaraja ratha that's why we we the scholars felt it these all radhas are belongs to the time of narasimha varman first and framing uh, plasters are forming a partially incomplete circumpolitary passage that is pradakshana pada they call it in front on the western side is added a small mukha mantapa the second thala is obviously continuous one with the wall of adi thala that means the thala the wall that has been found on the base or adi thala then it has been continued up to the top so thereby you are having a circumpolitary passage the third thala rises over the top of the second thala is having a open ambulatory all around so that way 
all the shrines in the vima these thalas will be having a circumambulatory passage the prasakshana pada so you could see here very clearly in and you are having a three thala vimana and you can see that above the pillar you are having karnakutas on each corner so it the karnakuta clearly shows that it is three thala vimana and the griva that is not visible in this picture but below the shigara like identical to the shigara you are having a octagonal griva so artha mandava sand you can see the mandava small mandava is seen all around this uh, Uh, shantam shantoriyam that is become a mandapa that that is a ardha mandapa stands in front and in intention to create a pradakshana pada type of thing that means one can move around this shantam shantoram then unlike other uh, radas the solid walls are could be seen at the corners of the this mandapa then niches carrying these corner walls carrying the niches in which carrying a figure of the king and with the title of the king is engraved at uh, at this this sculptures so viala based pillars could be seen you could see that and the viala based pillars are there and kapoda with kudu motif that means just above the pillar or above the beam you are having a one curvature type of member of this architecture which is having a the kudu what we call semi circular object and the different stories are functional but as far as uh, this dharmaraja is concerned it is incomplete the top most story carry the somaskanda panel that means uh, the thala three thala vimanas in the top vimana the third thala is having a somaskanda panel the hara is shown with kutas and karna kutas what i because on each thala he is having a series of uh, uh, objects that is the corner you are having a uh, karna kuta and you can see next one you are having a semi circular vaulted roof and also salas and kudas and panjaras and that way this dharmaraja rada is one of the best uh, represented radas among the five radas and you can see the below adis adisthana the below the pillar you are having a base it is adisthana what is the later temples what we are having jagati and kumuda or kumuda pattas or uh, vridha kumudas all the type of adisthana we have seen in the later days the introduction of the adisthana also has taken place here and we are having a one series of animal that's vyalavari also has been given so that way uh, this is a complete uh, temple in all respect this has been uh, converted into a structural temple in later days they copied as a structural temple in later days so that is uh, almost uh, this dharmaraja dharmaraja rada is a standardized the south indian or dravida vimana so the inscription referring atyanta kama pallaveshwara graha appears once on the front lintel of the shrine entrance of the three, third thala and again on the eastern side beam of the same thala indicates that this is the creation of atyanta kama pallava that probably identified with parameshwara varman his son the son of narasimha varman first it shows that that the, though narasimha varman initiated several monolithic rathas but it could not be completed during his time and it has been continued by his son also so this is the front there are two uh, radas here the front one is called bhima ratha and it was close to the dharmaraja ratha so this bhima ratha has the oblong vimana of the koshta or sala type or like a bullock cart how you are having a wagon top the same way you are having a here also that's why it is called sala shikara carrying a row of stupees 
on the top and over the ridge portion you could see it is oblong aditala is surrounded by a narrow mandapa with walls round the corners and intervening open facades of two pillars and two plasters on the long and short sides the pillar and the plasters carry viala or simhapada at the base so the base is having a lion based pillars the oblong griva that is above prasthara the oblong griva which rises as an upper continuation of the shantam walls that is a very important feature in this bhimaradha temple and it is rather tall there are various forms of nashikas on each of the long sides of the griva shikara the nashika is a projection uh, from the shikara so normally this vimana having a uh, projection sometimes it is having projection uh, in a vault this type of uh, wagon uh, top roofs also the projection that you have seen in the vimana that is called nashikas and uh, there are various form of nashikas on each of the long sides of the griva shikara inside the two arch ends of the wagon top shikara are shown the picture of the vimanas the structure real uh, structure of the vimanas so this bhimaradha this another view of the bhimaradha you could see that there is only one row of hara that means above the kapoda or you can say that you are having a uh, simhapada pillars at above that you are having a kapoda which is that water will not enter into the uh, cave or this vrada so for that you are having a kudu uh, motifs and above that you are having a hara the series of uh, kutas salas pancharas and also the corner one karna kutas so and above that you are a row of stupis on the shikara is given you can see that on the ridges on the top of the ridge you are having a kalasha or you can say that you are having stupis so the faker had viala based pillars and the front you can see that the mantapa type of thing you are having a viala based pillars the kapoda had kudu uh, of with the animal sorry the human heads the hara has salas between karna kutas at the corner the griva portion had well uh, projected nasigas so the projection which you could see in in the on the top is having called nasigas in the case of arjuna ratha the arjuna ratha is a double story talas at atvidala vimana square in section in both the talas that means both the talas the first one and the second one is in square in shape and carrying oblique hara of four karna kutas on the corners four badra shalas and double nasigas in the harandara section however the griva and shikara are octagonal in section as you have seen in dharmaraj ratha this arjuna ratha also having uh, that octagonal section both for griva and shikara there is an ardha mandapa in front of both the temples there are no sculptures on the walls of the southern pidari ratha while in the case of arjuna ratha the walls are having fine sculptures so you can see this arjuna ratha and if you from bottom to top you could see that it was well decorated or embedded with several sculptures it is dedicated to shiva and it is you can see that there are it's a duvitavala vimana you see the corners karna kutas are there only two karna kutas on the corners then it is called duvitavala vimana and you are having garbagraha is with ardha mandapa and also ganesha or gana shiva ganas are shown under kapoda if we it is not visible here but you can see kapoda with kudu motif below this one we are having a shiva ganas hara is shown with salas and karna kutas as usual and dwarabalas are shown on the side on the side walls you can see the, the final the extreme right you are having a dwarapala and octagonal shikara has maha nashika that is a bigger 
a projection is there that's why it is called maka nashikas same way we are having a next to arjuna radha this is the northern most uh, radha in this uh, four uh, radhas the draupadi radha is a simple hut like vimana with only four of the usual six angas of the vimana namely the adhisthana pada or bitti what we call wall portion and shikara and stupi the angas that are missing being the prastara and griva so unlike this arjuna radha and dharma raja radha here you are not having that prastara that means a portion above the roof and below the griva so that way this is a different type of vimana it is a square on plan with four sided domical roof that kutakara vimana they call it so crowned by a single stupi on the top it is dedicated to durga because we that's why it is considered as a draupadi radha in standing posture carved on the rear wall of the shantam shantoram so since the garbhagraha is having that uh, the draupadi so it has uh, this uh, durga it has been considered as a draupadi radha see kutakara the hut type of thing what we are having the vimana is a hut type shaped roof dwara palika palika it is a dwara palas in the case of uh, deity of shiva or vishnu and here it is a female deity so we call it as a dwara palkis is shown in niches so since that uh, durga image inside and the outside at the entrance we are having female gatekeepers so it we consider they, everyone is considered it is dedicated for the goddess above the entrance makara torana is shown so this is a new addition and if you see that above the entrance you are having makara torana is shown and this is the sculpture that you could see on the rear wall of the serine cell or garbhagraha it is a sculptural panel that durga is shown in a standing posture so yaka banga they call it and instead of divi banga so the last one that uh, yeah, that is cut out in front of the boulder of the, the draupadi radha this is called nagula saga deva radha the nagula saga deva radha is a dvitala vimana and wholly obsidal in shape that means it is called on the back side you are having semi circular as we have seen in the north indian uh, buddhist caves so it is a nirandara vimana that means one can go around the shantam shantoram uh, we are there is a gap in between so it is uh, we have, normally it is called shantara vimana but in this case of nagla saga deva radha there is no gap you can't come around that shantam shantoram that's why it is called nirandara vimana this form is known as gajaprastha what because it looks like a back of the elephant so that's why it is called gajaprastha and uh, in tamil they call it thunganai madam yes it resembles the rear of the standing elephant this is also classified as of the vasara type of vimana that what we have seen in north india because these vimana uh, is temple or uh, vimana or both temple is elliptical in shape though truncated at the front end it at the back side it is semi circular it has a small mukhamantapa in front with two vyala based pillars uh, at its facad and the two elephant based pilasters at its rear so both lion based pillar as well as elephant based pillars could be seen in this nagula saga deva radha interestingly the hara of the second tala shows two panjara between the two karnakutas on the front face this monolithic has no sculpture either inside the shantam or on the walls of the talas so this is the one that is the first one is the nagula saga deva radha you could see that it is a semi circular at the back so that's why it is called as 
கஜப்பிரஷ்ட ஆர் தூங்கானை மாடம் இன் தமிழ் வாட் த அஷ்யூம் தட் ஒன் திஸ் மொனோலிக் ரதாஸ் ஈஸ் நாட் த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த பல்லவாஸ் இன் ஃபேக்ட் ஆல் த புத்திஸ்ட் ராக் கட் கேவ்ஸ் இஸ் ஹேவிங் ஆப்சைடல் பேக் தென் தே ஹவ் மேட் அ ஸ்தூபா அட் த எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் விகாராஸ் ஆர் சைத்தியாஸ் ஸோ ஆர் சைத்திய விகாராஸ் ஸோ இந்த சைத்தியாஸ் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஏ மோனோலித்திக் ஸ்தூபா வித் ஆப்சைடல் பேக் ஸோ தட் வே திஸ் ரதா டைப் ஆஃப் திங் ஆல்ரெடி ஹேஸ் பீன் கார்வ்ட் அவுட் இன்சைடு த புத்திஸ்ட் ராக்கெட் கேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் தட் ஹேஸ் பீன் ரெப்ளிகேட்டட் ஆர் டூப்ளிகேட்டட் பை த பல்லவாஸ் இன் தேயர் டூரிங் த அட் மகாபலிபுரம் ஆர் அண்ட் சம் அதர் பிளேசஸ் பை த பாண்டியாஸ் ஸோ த அதர் ரதாஸ் வித் ரிகார்ட் டு பியாண்ட் திஸ் பஞ்ச பாண்டவ ரதாஸ் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் அனதர் ஃபைவ் ரதாஸ் ஏஸ் ஐ டேட் ஸ்டேட்டட் ஏலியர் அண்ட் போத் த இன்கம்ப்ளீட் வளையன் குட்டை ரதா அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த நார்தர்ன் பிடாரி ரதா ஆர் த திவிதளா விமானா ஆஃப் நாகரா டைப் ஆன் பிளான் போத் ஆஃப் தெம் ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஃப்ரம் பேஸ் டு அபெக்ஸ் ஆர் த டாப் இன்க்ளூடிங் த கிரீவா அண்ட் சிகரா ஸோ த கிரீவா அண்ட் சிகரா இஸ் நாட் சோன் ஆஸ் ஆக்டகனல் இன் ஷேப் ரேதர் சோன் ஆஸ் அ ஸ்கொயர் இன் ஷேப் தே ஹேவ் அ சுமால் அர்தமண்டவா இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் அண்ட் த ஆதித்தலா ஆஃப் போத் த மோனோலித்திக் த வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் எ சிங்கிள் வால் ஸோ ஹென்ஸ் தே ஆர் ஏ நிரந்தரா டைப் ஆஃப் விமானா ஆர் நிரந்தரா டைப் ஆஃப் டெம்பிள் ஸோ த சர்க்கம் ஆம்புலேட்ரி பேசேஜ் இஸ் நாட் அவைலபிள் இன் நிரந்தரா டைப் ஆஃப் டெம்பிள்ஸ் த பிரஸ்தாராஸ் ஆஃப் போத் த தலாஸ் ஆஃப் த வளையன்குட்டை ரதா கேரி அர்பிதா ஹார் ஹாராஸ் ஆப்ளிக் ஆன் த ஹர்மயா of the second tala and on the griva above but there is no hara over the second tala of northern pudari radha the hara of the aditala level is extended all also over the top of the ardha mandava that future you could see the early vimanas so both the monolithics are the sculptures on their aditala walls so that way these uh, uh, monoliths have created a big impact on the hindu temple architecture though it was a innovation of the pallavas this has been also carried out uh, by the other kingdoms but dynasties but at very minimal level so we could not see much uh, monolithic rathas other than mahabali puram so we are having uh, only at uh, uh, trench cutting in kalugamalai so that is different technique has been used by the pandyas after seeing that greater kailas at ellora so this way the creation of monolithic cut out stupas or monolithic images of buddha respectively in hinayana and mahayana tradition of rocket buddhist chaityas or in chaitya vigaras led to the creation of the excellent monolithic radhas out of standing out crafts at mahabalipuram by the pallava king narasimha varman first the great mamalla in 7th century ad this tradition was caught the imagine of the other dynasties in india though it was one of the marvelous creative art of ancient artisans but the tradition discontinued owing to the introduction of structural temples which were which provides more flexibility to the artisans and more economical for the patrons the tradition of converting the free standing out crafts into a monolithic rathas or temples or statues were almost given up after 10th century ad in india thank you very much